It was just so unreal. It was just anger and shock. A child murdered. He shot her twice. He finds the brick and crushed her skull with it. The police had discovered Mary Ellen's body. She had change in her hand still. Lefter went from death row to commuted to a life sentence. Somehow, this entire opportunity for several inmates to go Christmas shopping comes up. But he walked away. Poof. He had a full plan. The guy had a plan. He's walking the face of the earth where his victim continues to be re-victimized. There's somebody in the family who knows where he is. Blood's thicker than water. What the hell makes you think you're going to find him? I'd appreciate it to get off my property. Maybe he has other children in other states. Maybe they're looking for their father. All I want is for justice to be done. These are the cases that we love to capture these people. That's what our cold case unit does. That's what Dave Siler does. We're not big on sitting back and waiting. We like to shake the tree. It's an interesting conversation. He said, we need to look in another direction. Strike out. Damn it. An associate of Lesser Eubanks he had the audacity to tell me, you don't know where he is, and you're never going to find him. From that little bit, that tells a huge story. Escaped, a murderer living free, but for how long? Now, from the network that brought you The Dropout, the number one podcast worldwide, a stunning new true crime podcast, The Race Is On. Have you seen this man? Have you seen this man? I'm wondering if you have seen this man. Listen for free now on Apple Podcasts.